What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and I mean, like I keep telling y'all, I don't want to keep doing this, but I'm reporting the news. This thing just won't die down. And I'm like, they gonna mess around and start an East Coast, West Coast war behind this nonsense. I mean, because there's dudes that's out there that's retarded, you know, that that's ready to kick some off. I mean, they got people fighting within themselves. Like, you seen Uncle Murder there, and people was like, man, where's Mano? Like, they brothers, like tag team partners or something. But they're not. You know, so... You know, it's like one move without the other. But Mano was against doing that. Which I honored that. You know what I'm saying? When they did everything, he was just like, yo, man, I ain't really with me, but I ain't got no beef with me. So, ain't no need of me sticking my head out in the video when it's a diss song that ain't got nothing to do with us. You know what I'm saying? So, we Brooklyn. We ain't got nothing to do with that. That's some Philly stuff. Which I understand that. I honor it. 100%. So that's why he didn't go out there and be in the video. But what he did was he opened his mouth talking about how dudes looking like clowns and looking like like hoes, in other words, in the video. General, just to be in a video. You know what I'm saying? Just and being used and putting themselves in something they shouldn't have been in. Now, for those who don't know, he wasn't speaking about Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder was there basically on business. Game and Uncle Murder got a track they was doing that's coming out down the road. Okay, so they, they out there doing business. You know, so he wasn't talking to Uncle Murder. He's just talking about them other dudes who just, he's like, man, them dudes looking like hoes. Like, they'll do anything for some money. This ain't even got nothing to do with them. So he was saying that, and then he told Game Bodyguard this in a, like, I guess the bodyguard got it all wrong, uh, the, how he translated it over to Wack. So Wack just, instead of saying, get that man on the phone, goes on Instagram because Mano seemed to be showing support for Meek Mill, who got his little concert thing with Funkmaster Flex coming out September the 29th. You know, word around the campfire is that Meek Mill is going to diss game at this event. That's what everybody's expecting from me. Now, the truth of the matter is, I think he's going to drop that DC Cab album of his, that Deceased 4. He might put that out like the next morning or at midnight after this party and they'll be he'll do some songs off that album. But Everybody's expecting to hear him say something about game or Benny Siegel or something like that at this event. That's what they're expecting. But it's Meek Mill, you might get nothing. So, so don't expect anything. But that's what everybody's expecting at this event in New York. And I'm afraid something's going to jump off here at this event. Now, Mano responded, which he really don't do. Mano's a real dude. Wack is getting too much with putting his face out here on TV and everything else, which is not really what Wack is about the, the nonsense. Don't don't get that twisted. Like he's all he's just studio. I thought he was a real dude. Wack is nutty. You know, he'll knock somebody out broad daylight. You know, it's like, ma'am, dude, you make too much money for this. <laughs> get a goon to do it. Like, what are you doing? So he's for the nonsense. Now, he's just doing it because he don't know what Mano plan is. So he just jumped out the gate already instead of asking. He thinking he might be playing both sides of the fence. Because it's like he promoting Meek Mill's little event. And Mano's like, look dude, we talk like men. I told him my position. And that's it. Now, Mano's music, I'm not a fan of Mano's older music and everything else. He didn't really interest me into this yellow tape album with Uncle Murk. His rap game has stepped up tremendously on the yellow tape. I told people go get that Uncle Murder yellow tape. King Kong and Godzilla. Go get that. That's the joint. So they didn't you know I told people to go cop it. I don't know if they copped it. I play it. 
all the time. But Maino really got off on that CD too. So, other than that though, Maino is, is a street dude and he's normally no nonsense. He talks to you straight and direct and he tells you exactly what he means. And if he don't want to tell you, it's because it's street codes and he don't feel like getting involved. But, I've never seen anybody really call Maino a liar. Ever. And if they did, they were the ones that was lying. No, too many dudes that knew Maino. One thing they did say about him, he was a hunter. Normally, universal when people's like, oh no, he a hunter. He's, he's a real dude. If he say he got your back, he got your back. He ain't going to be fake about it. So, from word I got, him and Wack, like they, they got everything squared away. From what I've been told, like each side understand each other now. I don't know by the time y'all see this video, I don't know if any other nonsense will come out of it, but I doubt it. Each point been they each one each side got the point where they know where they stand. Like, dude, your man got my number, hit me up, and I think they did, because everybody told me it's straight. I'm like, is anything up? It's straight. It's it's good. I'm like, alright. When somebody give you a short answer like that, you don't get involved in it no more. You don't press. So, from what everybody's standpoint is on it, it's good. And everybody telling me, be careful with TV Day's name. Let me address that too, while we're doing this. I did not bring that man's name into the platform until that man brought his own name into the platform when he decided to go do an interview. I did not tell the man to go sucker punch somebody and put it all over the internet. I did not have a video of this man sucker punching anybody and putting it all over the internet. I did not tell this man to go ahead and make a video taking claim for punching the man <laughs> a sucker punching a man and I'm putting it on getting it on video and doing all the interviews and smoking the weed in the interviews and doing all that I didn't tell him to do that you put yourself out there so it became free game for people to critique the situation and use your name he put his name out there in big bold letters so, if he can't accept being critiqued on what he did with his name, he shouldn't have put his name out there. He wanted it out there. So, I'm not, I'm not even going to do, we just did that. I talked to my people in Philly. Didn't you just hear, that is a dude, by the way, y'all think somebody got a dude or a girl, that knew him when he was a kid. Okay? My peoples know him. So let's stop that. Uh, you can't come to Philly. I can come to Philly. Trust me. Did you just see me talk to people from Philly? Trust me. I got 50 to 60 more people just like him. I can come to Philly. That's not a problem. I don't want to come to Philly. Believe me, I make more money than the people that's fighting on that boxing card. It wasn't for me. I don't really get nothing out of it. I'm there to help promote them and help put put them on a platform so they can blow. They're they're right now. They're just starting their careers. They'll eventually make more money than me, and I wish that for them. I want to help promote their cards because I believe in them as fighters. That's why I was coming to Philly. I wasn't coming there to get in no altercation with nobody for no internet hits. Had nothing to do with that. But no. I don't want to go out there and take all the attention away and somebody else get hurt over some nonsense. And then here it is. Somebody in a the hospital. They got a hospital bill. They right there at Temple Hospital and they hurt and they ain't coming home for weeks. They do, they then got an arm in a sling or they gotta do the surgeries and all this because 
somebody is very sensitive of what somebody said on the internet. Really? That's why I'm not coming to Philly. Just for that sucker who want to go and do something just to be like on Instagram. Like, I want to make world star. Let me sucker punch this guy and say it, I'll beat him up and put it on Instagram. To eliminate the nonsense is why I didn't come to Philly. I don't want nobody I'm associated with that I would probably be with and when I'm out in Philly to do something to somebody else anticipating that to happen. So, just don't go. That seemed to be the best win-win situation. Nobody gets hurt. It makes more sense that way. So on that note, be safe, peace, and we'll see what happens and what one more day Thursday in New York I'm out